Now I bet I can model a complex tower like this from scratch in less than 40 seconds. Plot twist, I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to show you how to do the same. Let's get into it. Achievement unlocked. Now what you've just seen was inserting catalog features for pre-made sketches and pre-made extrusions. Let's talk about how we can create catalog features. The goals in creating them are a little bit different than in regular modeling. First off, I'm going to create a sketch on my XY plane and I'll sketch out a classic dovetail feature. Now normally when we sketch, our goal is to have a black fully defined sketch but it's a little bit different when you have a um, catalog feature that you're sketching for. In this case, I'm okay to add vertical and horizontal constraints, as you see here, horizontal and vertical, but I want a fully constrained sketch in everything except position. So I want an orange sketch instead of a black sketch, essentially. So to do that, I'll uh, go ahead and add dimensions as needed. We'll maybe make this 1.5 and we'll just add dimensions here. And we should have done it because we can move in our X and Y directions but we are all orange. So I'll go ahead and make this a reference figure. We'll click on mirror, select everything, and simply mirror this out for a full dovetail. Now, if I were to stick the, a point right on the origin, it would turn completely black, which is what I don't want. So we'll just move it to be somewhat centered. And this is ideal for a catalog part. And I'll show you why we want to be able to move it in our X and Y directions but we can still use horizontal and vertical as much as we want because we don't need to rotate our sketch. We only need to move it in our X and Y. So we'll go ahead and deactivate this and then we'll go to library and save catalog. It asks us what we want to save and sketch one is what we just made. So we'll save this as dovetail sketch. And then we can create a new part. Now I'm going to make just an overly simple basic part and the one characteristic I'm going to put is no horizontal or vertical lines, right? So if this is the part that we're working with and I extrude it, I want to add a dovetail to this and we'll note that there are no exact horizontal or vertical lines. We'll go to library, insert catalog, and from here we'll say dovetail sketch, the one that we just made and we can see right here our dovetail sketch. Now we can select base plane and choose a different plane and see it show up on here, but I think I want this plane for now. So right now I can like drag, but it's not gonna line up properly and I can't get an exact dimensionally accurate placement simply by moving this. But what I can do is say alignment reference and then I'll rotate this 180 degrees. So by being able to select an alignment reference edge, we can rotate the sketch to whatever alignment we want that matches our model. That is why we don't care about being able to rotate our sketch. I'll apply this. And because my sketch is free to move in the X and Y directions, I can simply choose some constraints and be able to locate this sketch fully. Now, all I need to do is extrude. And maybe I'll tell it to extrude to this face. And just like that, we've been able to make a cataloged part that can be inserted very easily. But of course, that is just a sketch that we do for 
uh, catalog parts, we also can insert cataloged extrusions. So here I have a DB37 connector, and if I roll it back, this is what my initial extrusion looks like. So I think most of the complexity is in that extrusion. We can go ahead and make that a catalog part. I'll go to Library, Save Catalog, and I choose that extrusion for my feature. And once it's saved, let's go ahead and use it now. Here we have a five bay server and I am going to actually open this part in a separate window. Perhaps we want to implement a connector right on it. So let's go ahead and do that. Maybe right in here. I'll go ahead and open my library. We're going to insert catalog. We're going to do a feature and of course select our DB37 connector. And then we'll go ahead and select this face as our base plane. And then I can locate uh, exactly where I want this to be. Maybe right there, that is, that's actually a pretty good fit. So we'll apply that, and of course we can have an alignment reference if we need this to be diagonal or something like that. We also can rotate, alright, I can enter in a 90 degrees and it turns it sideways, that can also be for a pretty good fit. But uh, I like zero, so we'll apply that, and what do you know, we immediately have that right on our server, and I can close and see that it's added into our assembly. So that is how we can use both extrudes and sketches for our catalog features. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.